Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I do have another Dollar Tree haul for you all this week. I also stopped by the Mighty Dollar to see if they had any new things. I picked up a few things, so I'll share that stuff at the end. And I also have a few pictures from the Dollar Tree at the end as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the fall items just to go ahead and get them out of the way. I picked up one of the wreath hangers. So it's in this brown color. They also have it available in an orange color. And of course it hangs on your door like this and the wreath form hangs from this angle right here. Next, I grabbed some of these Crafter Square felt clothes pins. You get six of them in there and I'm going to use these for a little project. And they are clothes pins. You can see on the back there, they just have them pinned to like a piece of cardboard paper. So you get two of each color, you get yellow, orange and a red color so those are pretty cute and i like getting items that you don't normally see every year and i didn't i don't remember seeing this last year or the year before so i did go ahead and grab these picked up a 50 count of the maple leaves i love that there is a variety of leaves in there in the various fall colors so i want to use this for obviously a project as well and i love how all of them seem to be different textures if you look at some at the um the top of the stack here they look a little bit different than those that you see on the back so one item that is for sure new this year is this adhesive diamond wrap now they just started rolling well they didn't just but they started rolling out the diamond wrap in like a mid 2017 they had it in various colors it was just plain diamond wrap though didn't have any shapes in it they had it in a silver silver gold um, a tealish color and pink or like a fuchsia color now they have them in this like fall pattern and they have little maple leaves on them so i thought that was really nice and again i'm going to use it for a little project and this whole entire sheet is ad adhesive so you can cut it up into strips whatever you want to do and it will adhere to whatever you're doing with your project so i thought that was very neat and um it is six inches by ten inches so the next couple of things from the dollar tree are completely random i uh, honestly didn't really need too many things from there this week except a few of those fall items and i needed some sponges other than that it's a really really slow time at the dollar tree right now especially for uh those of us that really don't decorate too much for fall or halloween I have a lot of that stuff like that out and a lot of us don't have a need for it or maybe you're not a crafter so it's a really slow time there right now um, i look forward to things picking back up when it gets closer to uh the end of september uh probably early october they'll probably start putting out um christmas stuff so I look forward to that in particular. But I did go ahead and pick up these new food finds. Uh, they're by the Shearwood Company and they are granola bites. So I have them here in the chocolate flavor. All these are made in the USA. This is 2.5 ounces. It says that it has uh, 125 calories per serving. A serving size is six of these, so that's not too bad. And it has uh, nine grams total of sugar, 19 grams of carbohydrates. They also have it available in a cinnamon flavor. And again, 2.5 ounces. This is 125 calories per serving as well. Nine grams of sugar and 19 grams of total carbohydrates. And the last one is this uh, Feisty Nut Clusters. And it's peanuts infused with chili lime. So that's probably a little spicy, I would say. Uh, this bag is 2.5 ounces as well this is 140 calories per serving serving size of these is seven of these clusters these are only 10 grams to total carbohydrates and they are five grams of sugar so we'll see how all these taste i'm sure these two will be fine cinnamon and chocolate but i don't know about this one it may be a little too spicy next i picked up some of this yellow rice it's by the vigo company i believe it's a uh, saffron yellow rice authentic spanish recipe y'all this right here is so good um i picked some of it up a couple weeks ago we finally made it and i absolutely love it so i went ahead and grabbed a bag of it this is nine ounces no fat um it's already completely seasoned for you just make sure you follow the directions and cooking it and it'll turn out great so we really love this stuff they always have this at the dollar tree i got this little zipper pouch or zipper purse is what they're calling it i'm guessing it's supposed to be a watermelon i'm not quite sure but i thought it was cute and so soft and they had different fruits up uh 
by the registers where they had it. I picked up some of these garden collection string lights in the butterfly shape. Y'all already know I have a set of these already. And then I wanted another set because I hadn't seen them for about a month now. So I just randomly ran across this one pack to get 10 of the lights in there. And that's what they look like. Of course, you need some AA batteries to go in the battery pack for them. Now this right here is so random, but y'all know I love Care Bears, obviously. And this was up by the registers and it's a push-up lollipop. So you get the little Care Bear right there. It's so cute. And then you got this little button on the side. You push the button up. And then there is a chupa choop inside, one of those little lollipops. So I thought that was pretty neat to get that little Care Bear. Uh, they also had a few Marvel characters and um, they had, uh, what is it called? The Hatchimal, one of the Hatchimal characters. This is the only Care Bear they had left though. I wish I could find more because I think that's so cute. And then you can put, I guess, any kind of lollipop you want in there. Cute little thing for kids. I picked up a grill lighter and then I also needed some more of these uh, nail guard brushes. I love the, not brushes, nail guard sponges. These are my favorite. They're by Scrub Buddies. You get six of them in there. And you can see on the sides are the little nail guards. So I love to use these to wash dishes and clean various things around the house. So the last couple of things that I picked up at the Dollar Tree are actually these coloring books. They are the Kickback and Color by Number. Um, it has four in the series. I was only able to find three of them. So I did pick up this one for animals. And it also has to where uh, it says a free music download is included. So I'm guessing there's some kind of code inside or um, something or another. I'm not sure. Matter of fact, maybe I should find out. Maybe I have to go to a website and then in the inside it has a download code. So I don't, I'm not quite sure how that works, but yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. The color by number, you know, it really takes you back. And then the front of that looks like a cute little elephant. And this one is the animals book. So I'll just show y'all a few, the animals and things. And then the next one I got is the, uh, what is this? The relax book. So it has different little scenery pictures and stuff like that and you just gives you the color grid and the numbers and all that and then the last one I have is patterns so the one that I didn't pick up is the floral one I couldn't find the floral one the patterns one is cute as well just something to do if you're bored preoccupy your time instead of looking at your electronics it's always good to have something like this to go back to or just pick up a book and read and put the the phone the ipad computer whatever down so the dollar tree portion of the haul is now over if you like to dip out i completely understand thank you for watching now i'm going to get into the mighty dollar again i always say this if you're not familiar with the mighty dollar i'll put their website link down below and you can check and see if you have one in your area everything at the mighty dollar is one dollar it is my favorite dollar store obviously over dollar tree now I stopped in there because I hadn't been in about a week and a half, I think, maybe even two weeks, just to see if they had anything new, which I usually do. So I came across this, um, it's like a knockoff of the perfume Happy by Clinique, which I have the original Happy by Clinique. And this one is called You'll Love Wanna Play. So it's called Wanna Play. These are usually $3 at Walmart. Um, and it's a designer imposter. It's 2.5 ounces. And made in the USA, it's FragranceRebel.com. I guess that's where you can go and maybe order more if you like it. This smells exactly like Happy. Like I said, I have the original Happy by Clinique. This smells just like it. So this would be a great alternative if you don't want to use up all of your expensive perfume. Put this in your purse and go. Obviously, it's a spray, like an aerosol type of spray can, I guess you call it. Y'all, it smells just like it. So I was happy to find that for a dollar. They also have these cute little notebooks by Mead. And these are the Cambridge notebooks. And I just love the uh, the texture of them. They feel so well made. They also had this in the navy blue. The same kind of texture though, look at that. And it's just lined paper inside. It's nothing you know to write home about. But the paper quality does feel pretty good. So for a dollar, I thought why not have a cute little notebook, an extra one to throw in my purse. Y'all know I always have to pick up some kind of pens or markers or something at a store. And these were new. It's called, um, it's by the company Scribble Stuff. They are scented gel pens. You get five of them in these cute little uh, 
neon pastel looking colors. So I'll try those out and see how I like them. Uh, supposed to be scented with the scents uh, apple, kiwi, grape, blueberry, and strawberry. So we'll see, we'll see. They say scented, but y'all know a lot of the times they aren't. I have some of the Chef Mate bamboo skewers. Got a, uh, I was about to say 11 of them. You got 100 of them in the pack. You're supposed to soak these prior to using them, soak them in water. So we got this for grilling purposes. The last thing I grabbed is this Clean Home brand large dish brush. So these are great to maybe wash out those uh, heavier pots and pans and things like that, or some dishes that you can't quite get uh, things off of. So I needed one of those and I grabbed one. And I really like the handle especially. I love how that is. So that's everything from the Dollar Tree and Mighty Dollar this week. I thank y'all so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to continue to see the Dollar Tree hauls every week or every other week. I love doing them for y'all to see what new items they have out there. And y'all seem to really like them. So again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.